let's get it started today we're going to be talking about the unification and let's get it started with uh the simple hypothesis and that is if apple fall does the moon also fall so what happened 1666 a 24 year old because he was born 1642 uh sir isaac newton uh, he was 24 at the time uh sitting under an apple tree and all of a sudden he saw an apple fall as all of you know the story he looked at the sky he saw a moon and he asked a famous he asked he asked a key question because you cannot discover anything unless you ask question every discovery every single discovery in physics is start with a question and there you there uh, there sir isaac newton asked a question if apple fall does the moon also fall well he wanted to solve this falling apple falling moon problem but there was no math at that time 1666 some 357 years ago 17th century math was not advanced enough so what did he do he invent math needed to resolve this problem and what was the name of the math he invented calculus he uses the calculus to lay the foundation of physics there you go so yeah the answer is yes Yes. So if uh, apple falls, it hit the ground, of course. If moon falls, why it doesn't hit the ground? Uh, because uh, we're going to address that uh, later, but because there is a velocity, there is a velocity. Apple fall, but there is no horizontal velocity. Moon falls, but there is a horizontal velocity. That's why moon is that horizontal velocity keep moons in the orbit of Earth. But we're going to address that issue later. But today we're going to prove that just like apple, moon also fall moon also fall toward the earth and we're gonna uh, we're gonna prove that before we prove that we want to talk about the gravity gravity was the first force to be discovered it was discovered 1666 by 24 year old isaac newton it was the first force to be discovered gravity is an attractive force between two bodies right before 1666 what happened Sir Isaac Newton used gravity to unify. Before 1666, what happened? P people used to look at the sky, night sky, and they would be um, they would be amazed. They would be uh, uh, they would be saying uh, heaven. They would be calling the sky, night sky, heaven because they would be thinking that the bodies in the night sky, the bodies in the heaven follow much more beautiful laws than bodies here on the earth right so what we are talking about earth and uh, heaven all right so people would be looking at the night sky before 1666 would be calling it heaven would be uh, thinking that of course object in the earth like apple and object in the heaven like moon object in the heaven like moon follows much more beautiful laws than object on the earth because of course heaven is much more beautiful than the earth that would what people used to think but sir isaac newton 1666 putting them together, putting the earth and heaven together. And that's what we call the fast unification. So far, last 357, since uh, 1666, we have had only two unification. One is the unification between earth and heaven, right? What the rules, the bodies on the earth follows the same rules, the bodies in the heaven also follows. That's what we call the universal law of gravity there is a word universal there is because every single body in the universe follow this rule this law universal law of gravity that's why we call it universal all right so that's how the unification happened the second unification happened of course by Faraday and maxwell they put the electric force and magnetic force together we are still waiting for third unification anyway let's define gravity what is gravity gravity is the attractive force 
is an attractive force between two bodies. These bodies, regardless, of course, regardless their location, these two bodies can be uh, bodies in the heaven or can be bodies here on the earth. Consider two body, earth and apple. Okay, so apple falls. All right, so this is the gravitational pull. The earth is pulling the apple to the center of the earth. And this one is the apple is pulling the art to the center of itself, right? This is also FG, all right? So what Newton tells us that this, there are forces acting on these two body. The body number one is pulling the body number two toward itself. And body number two is pulling the body number one toward itself. And these two forces are equal in magnitude. Equal in magnitude means same in size, but opposite in direction, right? Okay, so what is the size of this one? Let's find, let's find it. Let's say our apple is uh, 0 0.08 kilogram. So mg, who is is 0 0.08, and acceleration due to gravity is 10, so 0 0.8 Newton. So this is 0 0.8 Newton, okay? The size of this arrow is 0 0.8 Newton. What does that mean? The earth is pulling the apple toward its center with 0.98 Newton, of course. That means 0.98 Newton acting on this apple due to, of course, the earth. How much force is acting on the earth due to the presence of this apple? Let's find it out. G M M over R squared. And that is, of course, the force we are trying to find. What is G? Of course, G is Newton constant. Cavendish calculate the G, but G is a very small number. 6.67 .6, times 10 is to negative 11. And then the mass of the apple is 0 0.08 kilogram. Mass of the earth is 6 times 10 is to 24. And the radius between the earth between the earth center to the apple or to the surface because the apple is very close to the surface, one or two meter above the above the ground for that matter, right? 6.37 times 10 is to six is square. And that is also 9.8, uh, that is also 0 0.8 Newton. All right, so what do you see? We see that uh, the, Gravity is an attractive force, all right, and it is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So gravity is an attractive force, we prove that, good. Now, the second thing we want to show the proof of the unification. How Sir Isaac Newton, a 24-year-old man, prove unified bodies in heaven and bodies on earth by an inch long equation called Sir Isaac Newton universal law of gravity or simply G small m big M over R squared right so we're gonna consider two body one is apple and one is moon all right this is apple and this is moon all right, so what happens, Sir Isaac Newton said, just like apple, moon also fall, okay? So apple apple falls, moon also falls. We want to try to find the vector, the size of the vector. Maybe we want to find the acceleration today, right? Okay, good. Let's find the acceleration of the apple as it falling toward the ground, of course. And this is art. And Sir Isaac Newton is sitting here on the ground, looking at the apple, seeing apple falling and touching the ground, looking at the sky, seeing moon, thinking that moon is also falling, but also thinking that if it is falling, why it doesn't hit the ground? So let's find this one fast. So uh, what is it? So we're going to start our conversation. Abg is equal to gm uh, m over r squared, right? 
So there are a small mass cancel, the mass that rotate cancel, the mass that fall cancel. So I have mass of R pole and then G is equal to G, uh, mass of R pole, mass of R, and then of course R is squared. Mass of R pole, mass of R pole cancel, G is equal to 6.67 times 10 raised to negative 11 uh, Newton uh, meter square, kilogram square, of course, uh, 6 times 10 raised to 24 kilogram and of course 6.37 times 10 raised to of course uh, 6 squared. Now what are you going to have is 9.8 meter per second is square and that is the size of this arrow and this is not surprising probably this is what you expected. Now let's find the size of this arrow. Let's make this arrow bigger because this is really big in size 9.8 almost 10. Okay good. This one is F G is equal to G M M over R squared. This is small m, this is big M, this is of course moon, this is earth, and then this we're gonna make, replace it by M, moon, and G. Falling body, orbiting body, smaller body, mass cancel. So acceleration never depend on mass, therefore. So G is 6.67 times 10 raised to of course negative 11 newton meter square over kilogram square and six times 10 is to um, 24 uh, kilogram and here is the earth right uh, and here is the moon okay uh here is the uh, i'm going to make it smaller so that you understand here is the earth center and here's the moon center earth center to moon center is uh that what do you have to for uh, put over here 3.84 times 10 is to 8 this is of course um estimation because uh moon does not orbit around the earth with a perfect circle this is elliptical that means sometime the distance between moon and earth is bigger uh, and sometimes it is smaller so there are uh, when it is smaller right there would be like 28 earth between earth and moon and when it is bigger 30 earth so this is just an estimation 3.84 this is from earth center to the moon center. So G is equal to 0 0.2, uh, 0.00272 meter per second is square. So this is really small in size. I'm gonna make it smaller. So 0 0.00272 meter per second is square. Of course the moon is falling, right? But it's falling with very small acceleration on the other hand apple is falling apple is falling with the big with the higher uh, acceleration okay this is small acceleration will give a very small velocity toward uh, toward the earth uh, toward the earth direction so that velocity would be much smaller than the other velocity that is tangential to of course this acceleration we call centripetal acceleration we're going to be talking about it next time but let me go over the other problem from a64 all right and that is the problem say mr body is sitting here standing up on the earth right this is mr body is standing here on the earth right and he is mr body's mass is 100 uh, kilograms so what i want you to do I want you to find the earth acceleration and Mr. Body's acceleration. Of course, Mr. Body is uh, uh, Mr. Body is uh, experiencing some pulling force from the center of the earth, and earth is experiencing some pulling force to the center of the Mr. Body. All right, right, right. That's what we're going to try to find. So we're going to draw the free body diagram number one. Free body diagram. This is Mr. Body. All right. So Mr. Body is. Uh, this one all right so this is fg and the earth this one and this one this is also fg all right so now let's find both fg is equal to mg so fg is equal to m is 100 and g is 10 so you have 1000 newton and then the other one of course the earth is also 1000 newton fg is equal to g m m over r square and then of course you have Mr. Body's mass, uh, is small mass, is small mass cancel. So uh, this time, oh, you don't do that. You try to find the 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 force, not the acceleration. So Fg is equal to g six point six seven 
times 10 raised to negative 11 and then 100 and then of course 6 times 10 raised to 24 and then of course you have the distance between here to here is 6 times 10 uh, 6.37 times 10 raised to of course 6 uh, meter so 6.37 times 10 raised to 6 uh, meter square and that gonna give you of course uh, 1000 newton of course this one is 1000 newton uh, one th the, the mass is one, 100 kilogram uh, but this is 1000 newton 1000 newton uh, fg and this is also 1000 uh, newton what does that mean uh, the earth is pulling mr barry with 1000 newton to the center of the earth and mr barry is pulling the earth to the center of himself with 1000 newton equal in magnitude opposite in direction now we're going to do the last problem and to do the last problem so mr barry is jumping up this time he is not standing he is not standing and this time he is jumping up all right so he is jumping up uh, so uh, all right so this is still he is on the ground he is on the ground so this is maybe a this is a, this is maybe b all right okay um all right so what happened over here let's see uh so uh he, uh, he, uh, he is in the air 0.8 uh, meter, right? Uh, and he crouches uh, 0.2 meter, right? So VF is square is equal to VI is square plus 2AD, right? So then VF is square, let's say this one, this one is zero. So zero is equal to uh, VI is square, maybe this one. So that's what we are trying to find. It's 2, negative 10, and 0.8. So V is equal to 4 meter per second, right? Okay, so his launching velocity right here is 4 meter per second. Now, uh, VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 280. Now, what you want to do is, of course, uh, uh, 4 is squared is equal to the VI uh, is squared would be 0 plus 2. Acceleration you can find, this is 0.2. Uh, so acceleration is 40 meter per second is square now you're gonna find the pushing force this is mg and this is f push f push is mg plus a so f push is 61 mr body is 61 mass is 61 kilogram uh, this is 10 plus 40 so f push is 3050 newton right and this is 610 Newton okay so now if you do acceleration and that is uh, F net of our mass acceleration is 3050 minus 610 over 61 then you get of course 40 meter per second is square and that's exactly similar to this of course this is what you need to do for a 64 hopefully you understood everything